Tiffany Henyard certainly isn't shy about attracting attention. Here she is starting a Dalton Village board meeting dressed like the Wesley Snipes character in the movie New Jack City. Later punctuating her political points with the help of her own DJ. Every single resident, pay me what you owe me. Thank you, DJ. You're just seeing the half of what she's doing because she's cocky, she's arrogant, and she's ignorant. And that's a terrible mixture. This is Pocket Watching with JT. She is Mayor Tiffany Henyard. In addition to leading Dalton, she also serves as supervisor of Thornton Township. You make almost $300,000 between your two elected I positions. Not. I do not. I don't know where you got that number from. We got it from her own village and township records. These are tax dollars. So is the money being spent on village credit cards. I do not handle anything as relates to with credit cards. As you heard me speak today in my board meeting about, I do not handle that. Some of those charges are for you, though. No, sir. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mm. What, what is that? No comment. You don't know if you were in Las Vegas? Of course I do. Were you? It's not paid by them. Did you fly first class to Las Vegas? Any other questions? Actually, yes. The credit card records do shed some light on tax dollars spent at several restaurants near the Strip, including Cafe Hollywood and Hot and Juicy Crawfish. Remember, we mentioned Henyard was also supervisor at Thornton Township. WGN Investigates obtained copies of that agency's credit card statements as well. They show township taxpayers also spent money on the Vegas trip on everything from steak dinners to hotels and $3,741 just on Henyard's round trip flight. But I shouldn't have to sit up here and break all this down. When trustees refused to pay a big block of bills this week, the mayor accused them of putting vital city services in jeopardy. We need receipts to understand What's going on? We couldn't help but notice the red hat perched in front of Mayor Henyard throughout the meeting. It's from the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company, which, by the way, was apparently a stop on the Vegas trip. $303 billed to Thornton Township taxpayers. We just feel lost, and we just want the powers that be uh, to step in and say, hey, you know, something's got to give. Edward, you're live on the air. What's going on? What's up, bro? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Go right ahead. Man, look, my name is Edward. Steve, mm -hmm. I live in Dalton. I oh. run Dalton Trustee YouTube page. I was oh, a trustee. Listen, hey, hey, listen. I was, I was on, I was up there when she came in dressed in like Nino Brown. I was sitting up there when she had the DJ. She was a trustee for eight years. She complained about the last mayor. She was a thorn in his side. She was, it was real disrespectful then. What mm -hmm. happened was the next, the, the, when he, when her, when she won, the mayor had a stroke. 30 days before the election, 30 days before the election. And then there was about five, five people in the, in the, in the, in the, in the election. So it split the vote up. She only won by like a hundred votes and a thousand less people voted this last mayoral election than the previous mayoral election. So she right. slid in there, but it was a split vote and the mayor got sick. The city mayor got sick. So mm -hmm. what you see, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the one that runs the don't trust the YouTube page. Mm -hmm. I was the video, I'm a videographer photographer. I did the media for Dalton before I became a trustee. I started the YouTube page and the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So what you see and how she got it, Frank Zuccarelli was a downtown city supervisor for 30 okay. something years. What happened was he died. So she did finagle her way. She made some deals and the, the trustees who was appointed the, 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 the next supervisor couldn't mm -hmm. agree. They didn't get along. And then she made a deal with one got him promising some stuff that she never delivered on then he brought her name up it's all it's all on youtube that's how she got into that supervisor position but when i say i'm the one that we got i i i'll still talk with all the trustees kiana belcher we call mm -hmm. it kiana belcher keep your receipts belcher pink book mm -hmm. lesson got all our video content if you go to our youtube page don't trust the youtube page mm -hmm. it's, it's 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 really popping right now and then right. we about to get our own website don't trust these.org because you're just seeing the half of what she's doing because she's cocky, she's arrogant, and she's ignorant. And that's a terrible mixture. When you think you know and you don't know and you got the power, everybody around her are, are petrified of a job. 
And if they don't, if they don't do what she do, she'll fire you in a heartbeat. She don't care about due process. If you, if you knew how many lawsuits we got right now, it's crazy. And you'd be surprised, JT, how many mm. some of these people support her. They're like Trump supporters. <laughs> and here's what she's doing. Here's what she's doing. No other mayor was okay with operating in a deficit. I was a trustee for four years. Mm -hmm. The last mayor, if he put a hundred, we put a hundred thousand dollars in the budget for trees, they would spend that a hundred thousand. These we put up, we put we put three hundred thousand dollars in the budget when I first got in for streets. She spent one point nine million, and How? we like and because what she does is she gets a she gets a contractor, and then when when we don't pay that contractor, then she go to another contractor, then she go to another. If you go to our YouTube page, one of our book more means. A tree, a tree cutting, uh, a tree cutting contractor came up there and said we owe him four hundred thousand dollars, and we told him you didn't get no contract, you didn't get no R wasn't no RFPs, right? But she goes to them as the mayor and say, I need you to cut this. But by the time when they come up for their bill, they already done the work. So people are like, yo, I ain't never got my tree cut like this. I've been trying to get this tree cut for the last ten years. I've been trying to get my streets done. It's, it's she, like she's, it's, it's almost like she's buying the loyalty. Man, man, from and, and, uh, and some citizens, but she she's stealing from the citizens yeah, she, to buy and, the loyalty. And what we always tell people, you're going to have to pay for that. And right now, we just had you going to see on our trustee. They had a fine. They don't have no finance committee. They do a town hall meeting. Mm -hmm. They don't tell nobody about it. It's the last minute, and then they don't answer no questions. We we got a crazy budget gap right now. A deficit. Then she says she got six million dollars from Springfield with no proof, no nothing. And then she goes with, it, and then you watch her board means. Here's what she'll do. She'll say, "Look, residents, I'm trying to cut y'all trees, and the trustees are stopping y'all." People be like, "Yeah, that's right, trustees. Why y'all stopping it?" And we like, "Yo, we ain't got the money." But what happens is, she has the last word at the board meeting. She's the mayor. She controls the meetings, and she goes on these hour, two hour promote herself. And some people only believe the last thing they hear. So just like Trump, she'll he'll repeat something over and over again that, oh, the, the right. election was stolen. And then people say, yeah, well, he said it. And, you know, it's funny how people don't people say they don't trust politicians. If the mayor tells you the sky is green, people will be like, well, hold on. Well, is it green? It's, it's amazing how much people believe. And so it's 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 a mess, man. And, it's, and what happened was she barely won. She won because she had a team. You see that that mm -hmm. that that trustee, right? Trustee Jason House. He's a senior mm -hmm. trustee. He should have ran for mayor, but he said, "No, nah, I don't really want to do it." We are. And then what happened was when she got in, she talked a good game. She said, "Hey, we gonna sit down. We gonna work together." That was so far from the truth. We had two board meetings. The first two board meetings when she first got in, it went smooth. She called us. Oh, with, you gonna vote for this? We pull it off. Third meeting, it was twenty six things on the agenda. She started talking to us like we children. Watch her for me. Look how she talked to us. Look how she talked to the trustee. Call him stupid. Y'all don't know what y'all doing. Y'all need to do y'all job. Now, did, okay, it's, so she, she was a trustee before she, she became mayor. She right? was a trustee for eight years, so everything she's doing, she know is wrong. We okay. got video of her what was, saying... What was the working relationship? Because I remember you said that she was a thorn in the side of the city mayor she, who she, had the stroke. What was the working relationship when she was just a trustee? I, I used to, me and her used to get into it because I used to sit up there with her and I'd be like, this girl's lying. But she would, like, there's a thing called class eights. Class eights that you pass for businesses coming to Dalton. The South Suburbs taxes are crazy. The only mm -hmm. way you get businesses to come is you gotta give them a class eight to reduce your taxes. No, right, yeah, it's, like, it's like a tax credit. You come tax in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like you come in, normally you have to pay X amount of taxes, yeah. but the money that you're gonna save because yeah. we're not going to tax you is yeah. worth it for this business to come in and make an investment. Yep. So right. what happened was she will argue stuff down and she would just, because she doesn't mind being disrespectful. She doesn't mind interrupting. You, you, I'm, I'm, we're going to put some video up. Of, if you go on that page, there's a trustee Henry versus mayor Henry that's on that YouTube page. If you look at some of the old videos, you're going to see that she was disrespectful as hell. Mm. And she didn't mind. And then sometimes people be like, that's right, girl. You you challenge him, which what she said. Oh, I don't know, but she challenged him. You know what I mean? So and and then and then the, like I said, the last mayor had a stroke 30 days before the election. Mm. If he didn't have that stroke, and then what happened was Jason House, who offered her credibility, because he got more votes than she did. Every she he got more votes as a trustee than she did as a mayor. He oh, should have okay. ran for mayor 
when he said, "No, nah, we're gonna work together," you know, what so, I mean, so, it's, kinda, so it's trusty like citywide. Like I don't have wars. Tr- tr- trusty citywide. You don't have it's, it's a village, right. so we yeah, don't have that, order. That's what I want to explain to people yeah. how you can have one person actually get more votes. Than yeah. Thing. All these positions are basically citywide. Citywide. And yeah. The, the yeah. amount of people who voted for him. To be a trustee could have easily checked the box yep. for mayor, and he would have been yeah. mayor. Yeah, yeah. If he wanted to run for mayor, but he didn't, he's gonna run his time against her. And and you and, and you realize in, in political world, next year's on like this time next year, mm-hmm. this time December next year will be in full fast campaign mode okay. because it, it, in in politics it does it's, it it goes fast. One more year, you got another you got another summertime, you got another you know what I mean. In certain spring, starting September. And stuff from next year, this time next year, that's when you gotta start getting petition. So it's 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 you got one year left. You know what I mean? But but she got a lot of money. That mm-hmm. attorney that's sitting next to her is what and what happened was all these small villages, you got a school board, you got library boards, you got park district. And what happened was she ran people for all these small boards in Thornton Township. She mm-hmm. won some of them and know how to you know how the attorney gets paid. Because the attorney becomes the attorney of the school district, of the of this school board, of this park district. So she tried to put that attorney. And so the attorney's sitting there collecting money. He don't care. So he's getting paid. That's the part that I don't get. If it's dude, he, if, dude if he's, he's getting attorney, sometimes he knows what's right and what's wrong. Man, like when man. she locked you out, when she locked you out from the physical it, building yeah. and locked you out of the accounting system to see what was going on. When she you know, signed for the $500,000 yeah. check by herself, the attorney knows that that's wrong. What, he, what, he, what he, type of conversations gone. are you having with the attorney? If if he goes, one time we weren't paying the attorneys, right? So he said, you know, he was talking, I said, man, talk to your girl. And he's, Jason House said, he can't say nothing to her because she'll cut him. If, she, if anybody challenges her, they're losing the gravy train. All that money's cut. Oh, he is not about to cut that money to tell her she wrong. Man, no way in hell. You realize I, these I attorneys as an you, attorney, he has man, a duty because he's man. he's not her personal attorney, he's it, the attorney of the village, correct? Village, but and he t- technically is not not that, but that's a whole nother story. But you realize these small towns, Dalton's like a 25 million dollar budget. He's sometimes right. getting 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars a month just for Dalton. And then he got Thornton what? Township. Thornton, yes, you realize this is a 30, a 24, 25 million dollar budget. Sometimes the 30,000, our, our county firm gets 25, 30,000 dollars a month. These positions, she, she, she taking people who were making 15 dollars an hour, now they're making 60, 70 grand a year. They are indebted to her and they, they take abuse because they need the money. You think they're going to give that up? You realize every small town out here in, in the South Suburb, South Holland, Riverdale, Calumet City, uh, all these are millions of dollars of but in budget in money, in right. contracts. You got the towing contract, you got the insurance contract. These are not these are six figure contracts, right? You know what I mean? So she's controlling all that, and then she got the township. The township consists of seventeen communities. That's a whole nother uh, range of money, and he's a, he's the attorney over there too. So, bro, when I say when I say she is not stopping. When she she doesn't feel she's doing nothing wrong. Watch our board meetings. Our next board meetings Monday. Uh-huh. She's going to have a, and then she what she does is blame the trustee for everything. People right. vendors are not getting paid now, and the, and the trustee saying we're not paying it, but she spends it, and the people be like, well, I want my tree cut. The trustees to stop me from getting my tree cut. Yep, you should be mad at them trustees. That that WGN report when she lied, uh-huh. that put her on the map because we've been saying this girl been lying since she's been in office. And people are now starting to see it. Pink book lessons video are, are is crazy Amazing. because some residents send it to me who were quote unquote her supporters, <laughs> but they like, whoa, she's really she's really crazy, huh? <laughs> well, we've been saying that for the last two years, three years, and it's not like she don't know, man. She don't know. She knows, but what happens is 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 it's my way or the highway. It is a dictatorship. There's no checks and balances. She is blowing the budget up and we in a deep depth and you and you they will lie. They will. I mean, it's not you see how she laid on lied on that on, on TV. Right. She said, I have nothing to do with credit cards. Right. Knowing she got something to do with credit cards. <laughs> but that's how but you see how smooth she lied with a straight face and didn't blink an eye. So when she talks to residents, 
they be like, well, the mayor sounds seem truthful. Oh, she yeah. told me she, yeah, man, yeah. Well, and they lying on me because I'm a woman. And she pulls the woman card. She pulls the race card. Man, how, does, how does she pull the race card? Bro, all, bro. Based on what I've seen, all of the city government is black. Like everyone bro, that I'm, I've seen her attack was black. I, I, I'm telling you, this the news report is going to become the race card. The first, the first news report is because some inter, internal in, issues with her, with a former relationship. She tried to use that card. She'll try to use anything to deflect it from her. Watch, watch the next board meeting. She's gonna pull it. I'm, I was, I'm, uh, I'm a woman. I'm a single mother, and they're attacking me, and they're hating on me, and they're lying on me. I want you guys to support him. This is the YouTube channel for the Dalton trustees. Shouts out to the board of trustees, man. Shouts out. Th these are the real heroes right here. Let's be clear. These are the heroes of this story. Need more? Book your personal consultation with my man JT at pocketwatcher.net. Double check that. That's eh, pretty good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not crying, are you? Let's tighten that. And... Ooh. Wait, 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 what was that? Huh? What? that? No, don't worry about that. Here we go. Asking the right question can greatly impact your future. Are you qualified to do this? What? Especially when it comes to your finances. Do you have a question? Are you a certified financial planner? Yes, I'm a CFP professional. CFP <laughs> professionals are committed to acting in your best interest. That's why it's got to be a CFP. Find your CFP professional at letsmakeaplan.org.